Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fabulous time. Today I'm going to be doing some two new cool amiibos. Princess Zelda and the Guardian. That robot one. So let's see, this is the Pro Controller I'm using. I kind of wish it glowed in the dark. That's what happens when you don't mute your music. Okay, so, which one should I start with, the Guardian or Zelda? Zelda? Okay. So, this is Princess Zelda. Rare equipment I hear comes from Zelda. This is in her, like, fighter sport mode. I'm going to carefully open this. Carefully. So that my producer doesn't eat me alive. Where do you put the boxes? So how, what's the trick to opening this? Because it peels off the stuff regardless. Well, look. Okay. I feel like I'm doing open heart surgery here. Oh, I see. Oh, that's why, because there's actually a piece of plastic there. Gosh, they could have made this easier to open. This one's gonna be mine, because this is Princess Zelda. But uh, my producer has one that's uh, the Guardian. That's the one that I'm gonna be opening next. So I gotta be even more careful with it. Okay, did I do a good job? Okay, good. All right, so here's this. I'll give you that back. You get this back too. She is. We have Princess Zelda. She has long, flowing blonde hair. Kind of reminds me of mine because I have really long hair. I'm going to put it down. She has that, um, I, you know, I forget what it's called, but that's the Sheik Sheikah Slate. And she's got, like, this beautiful blue blo blouse on with finger gloves that look like she, um, joined a biker gang or something. Um, I'm trying to get my YouTube to start playing. Okay, for some reason, is it streaming on YouTube? I don't know why I can't find it. Alright, Mac Creator Studio, a view channel, there we go. Yes, I know. Oh, I see it's in the middle. I don't know how to see the stream on here. Go to impersonalfrost.com and then go to your YouTube there. YouTube.com slash C slash impersonalfrost. Yeah. Takes me to the same page here. It's not showing. Would it be under videos? Where would it be? Is it this? I wish there was... Isn't there a button normally where it says they're live? Yeah. So where is it? Okay, I guess I can wait. Um, anyway, so there's this one. Should I open this one next or should I just do this amiibo? 
Okay, so now with the Pro Controller, it's a little different. You put it on the spot in the middle between all those buttons. See, hey, stop it, stop it, stop it. That's mine. The horse is like, I want to bite. That's that one. Oh. Luminous stone. Hmm, sells for a fetching price. Alright, so that's this one here. I'm going to put her with, with the collection, although that one, the archer, is still my producers. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to open up this bad boy. Now this one is actually Jeremy's, my producers. As you can see, it's of, you know, the guardian, that nasty motherfucker that you have to shoot in the eyeball. Um, and on the back, it shows you that you can adjust the legs and it tells you where to put it and such. And there's a beautiful picture of the guardian here. And I think this just looks really cool. It'd be cool if his eyeball glowed. Let me let me open this sucker up. I'm gonna try from the bottom. Jeremy's like, oh no. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder how old the guy is who invented Zelda. Or if he's even alive. Motherfucker. Sorry, Jeremy. This one's really difficult. Do you want me to just pull him out or do you want me to keep going? Brain surgery here, guys. They don't make them easy to get out. Here, you know what? You take this bad boy. Oh, you're like, thank God. She's destroying my box. Does it look bad? It's kind of good. Oh, look at the ground. It even looks like the ground in the game. Um. Okay, come on, Mr. Amiibo. <laughs> All right, come on, Mr. Brain Surgery. Out of the box. Man, this thing's about as difficult to move as it is in the fucking game. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna murder this thing. It says pull. Oh my fucking gosh. Are you fucking for real? <laughs> Get out of the box. Oh my gosh. Come on! If I pull this thing out, it's gonna break. <laughs> that just happened.
guys. All right. Um, do you want to um, mute this mic for? <laughs> Um, I need to fix your little tentacle friend. Because yeah. he, um, you know, you know magma. <laughs> do you want to spray him or do you want me to use wipes? This monster, if this monster gives me any more fucking glip, I'm going to bite its head off and then it won't have an eyeball to shoot out of. You might want to, like, put on the streaming soon. Man, I gotta, like, sanitize each of these tentacles. It literally flew right in my face. You you gotta make a highlight of that now, right? Luckily, he's made of plastic, so he's not, you know, easily damageable. So did they have these guardians in all the other games? Was he expensive? What does he normally go for? What's it go? Wow. Well, I could see why. Probably why they made it so difficult to get out of the fucking box. I have like eczema galore, so I'm like trying to not get it everywhere. Somebody says, just smash it for views. This is what Spectrum said. No, I'm not smashing it. And hey, Guinevere. Hey, Spectrum. How's it going? Smash it for views. No, I'm not smashing it. Just smash it. <laughs> oh, man. Nintendo sees that. They'd never, like, partner me with them if I did. Alright. Is he, like, do you think he's good or am I gonna. He's do good. I I'm not gonna have to like clean this anymore. Yeah, you're right. All right. Okay. So this is your little guardian tentacle friend. He's got quite some weight, as you can see. There's a blue. No, 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 Link, don't do that. Link, don't run away. Okay. He's got this. Normally, this head would rotate in the game, but it's not. Um. But he's got quite a bit of weight to him. Uh, which is cool. We're gonna put on some... I'm going to use this right now. So you gotta... Motherfucker. I'm having quite some difficulties today, guys. I hope you do not mind. It's quite heavy. Holy shit. Alright, are you gonna hold on to this fucker? Or do you want me to? Okay, let's see what's in the treasure chest. Ooh, that's a good sword. Inventory's full. Well, we will change this right now. Right now! Right now, people! Right now! Sweet, these swords are good. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this sword because I know that all my other weapon, like, doesn't take it long for it to just start having problems. You know, like, they automatically stop working and stuff. Right. Wait, that's not what I want to do. Ancient spring, what goes for a lot of my opals? Ancient gear, amber. Wow, a lot of good loot from that. Even flints. Jeremy, I want one. 
I want a tentacle monster. I hear glowing sounds, but I don't see anything. I wish I knew the exact link to look up, so you might want to just send me the link. Because it's not showing on my page. I like that tentacle monster. Can I have a tentacle? I want a tentacle. Bun Bun is worried though that your tentacle monster is gonna get her. She's like, no! Anything but the tentacles! But yeah, so yeah, I have like eczema and it's no fun. I have to be really cautious and stuff. Yeah, I inherited it from my grandma, but I kicked in when I was 22. No fun. I think it was 22, 24, 22, whatever. It's all the same. Anyway, so that's that amiibo. Now we're going to go get some loot from this amiibo. This is the Link amiibo, and he has the arrow. Right, let's try this. Oh shit, that was a lot of shit. Lots of fish. Raw drumstick. This is probably the worst place to be doing this because y'all your loot could fall right off that bridge. So I'm not gonna stay on the bridge. Although, ooh, I see a fish. I see the fish. The fishes. The fishes in the sea. Oh wait, there's a bad guy down there. Uh, e either. Because there's fishes here, I need these fishes. These are important fishes. That Staminoka fish is very important. Just keep screaming? What do you mean, just keep screaming? I'm never going to stop streaming unless my producer is like, no more. Okay, let me click on that link that you gave me. Um, and great. I just touched this thing where I had fucking eczema on my hand. Um, can you give me a plate, please? There we go. Okay, so... Don't die, Link. I really need to go to more shrines today. So you bet your bottom do dollar today I'm gonna go to, like, a shit ton of shrines. I'm just gonna, like, hand this to you so that way... I really got... I can't wait to go to that new dermatologist. You wanna get the rest of that? Just don't touch the other side of it. You won't get it, but I will. So that fish right there is the kind of fish that you need, peoples. You need that fish. Steal the fishes, steal the fish. You need that bass because that bass will give you more stamina. Always remember to look under the rocks. Oh, somebody left their stuff. So to prevent my weapons from getting damaged, I'm gonna drop one. Actually, I should pick this one up. No. Let's just drop this. Pick this. Ooh, 
blackened crab, a whole crab. Oh, there's like a chest back here too. That's cool. <laughs> nice, ice arrows. Hidden bosses? What are hidden bosses? Where's the hidden bosses? Michael, how's it going? What well, looks like chic? Oh, you want to see? I got a new amiibo, Michael. Look. It's Zelda in her little outfit. Isn't that cool? I have more loot drops, too, guys. So don't worry, but I'm, like, you know, cooking right now because I want to get this shit over with. good. Today I had the most awful tasting cheese ever. I was like gonna die. It tasted like Swiss but on steroids. It was just awful. Oh I can't carry any more meals. Okay. So as long as I can like you know do whatever. So I'm gonna I don't want a shield. I just want to sit. sit I, I'm saying sit not take. Oh my gosh. Sit. Morning. Oh, what items did you find? I found, um, uh, like the bones of a Cyclops. That was pretty cool. He came to life. I hate how my stamina wheel is so low. It drives me out of my mind. I suppose I could just let the water push me. I finally got my laptop back today. I was so pissed though. Apparently they not they apparently it wasn't just a charging issue, like where the power wasn't being taken in. It was like a sincere, whole entire computer issue, so they actually took apart the entire computer. Took the screen out, took the mouse out, took the hard drive out, took all the charging things out, took everything out. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And I had thought, like, I told them, I was like, yeah, you don't need to transfer info, because I didn't want them to wipe it clean. I wanted them to just fix only the problem and then send it back. But apparently they thought, okay, we're just gonna like take everything out, put all this stuff in. So like a lot of my information, like my programs are gone. I have to re-download them to my Mac. And I just got that today and I didn't know it was wrong. I was waiting all day long. It's awful. I'll explain it in a bit, but I'm gonna like show you more Amiibos. All right, so this is Yoshi. There we go. When I did that sound, it did it. <laughs> Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Some meat and some monster stuff. I better just take all the ones out that I've used. Okay. So I use that one. They're like little toys from McDonald's meals that remind me of. What if I want it? Ta-da! Apparently, Zelda, the princess, she gives us the best drops, but I was not I was surprised. I was hoping for a little bit better for drops. Maybe I should be getting more monster amiibo or something, because I had a whole lot better monster uh, lot, uh, stuff than drops. I assume you have the, the, the switch. 
No more amiibos for me doing everything the hard way. Hey, it's your life, man. Sweet to get more. Ooh, Mighty Thistle. Okay. I just think it's fun. They're like little McDonald's toys they look like. And then I have a Pikachu one, but he ran away. Um, but this is my second amiibo. I have new amiibos coming through. I have a rare... What's her name, that princess? And this is the one with him and Espona. Ooh. I got a lot of stuff. I guess the Zelda theme ones give you good stuff in the game, which makes sense. There better be some good loot in here. That's neat. Travel is brittle. The design doesn't really stand out, which is why it's suited to any type of horse. My favorite among peddlers and travelers life. Cool. I wonder what that birdle is for. Traveler's saddle. That's interesting. What are these saddles and birdles for? Like, what do they do? Does it make them run faster or something? Or is it for, like, wild horses? So, let's see, any more amiibos? Did I use all my amiibos already? Oh no. Do you see any more amiibos in that box? Alright, let's. We got Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight gave us some shrooms. Warm Safina. And raw meat. Okay, goody goody. Well, I thought you could just get a saddle from registering them into a fucking thing. A, um... Registering them to, um... The Walking Diarrhea has subscribed. Nice name. Thank you for subscribing. I like my Zelda. But I'd say that monster one was pretty cool. I think I want more monsters. Why can't I get more monster amiibo? Why do I only get monsters that are like dickheads? Somebody wrote, dropping deuces on the likes and sub buttons and their name is The Walking Diarrhea. Is he trying to troll or something? Because I just think it's kind of funny. Good night. Hey. You forgot the milk. Please. Not the pester, but... Here's the milk. Dropping deuces. Wonder if he's like 12 or something. There's something up there. <clears throat> hey. <sighs> ah. Come on, Link. I think I called this one caramel. <laughs> Let me see, this is... Is this caramel? I forget which one this is. The first horse was cinnamon. Don't be stubborn. I found the fairy too, the big one. Is there only one fairy in the game? Because I thought there should be more than one, because she said, If you help my sisters, I'm sure they'll have your armor. <laughs> Why, thank you, young sir. Oh, 
Oh, shit. I spilled it on my boob. Night. What's Link from Brawl, Amino? What's Link- what's Brawl? Is that another Zelda game? <laughs> what t-shirt contest now? You don't want to activate until you have a stable because when she dies and you don't register her, she's gone for good. Well, I already have five horses in a stable. You know how I am with ponies. I like the ponies. I want a pony. Zelda or Link, give me another pony. I actually want to have more ponies, but like I caught like a bunch and they're like, you can only have five in your stable. Like, well, what if I want to be an equestrian or whatever the fuck it's called? What if I want to collect all the ponies? My little pony, my little pony. Oh, well, you know, my mom and dad used to be really, like, stingy, so I wouldn't have owned that game. You know that, right? I ha I did own a bunch of other games, though, but half of them were my brother's or my dad's or something, you know. Oh, you missed the shit that went down, Michael. You were gone for a while. So there was this guy... <laughs> who donated and he thought because he donated that that meant that he could just come in and make people leave. So he gave like 20 bucks and then um, he insisted I get rid of one of my mods and I said no um, and all because he had a misunderstanding with her and I'm like I'm not going to do that, that's not right. You know if you have a problem with her you know you should basically take it outside and Stuff. I'm gonna go back to that bridge because my actually I can keep my hammer for a while and so what he did was he decided to donate another ten dollars um, because see we were sick and tired of him being rude to me in the mod and so thank you mr. bird we were sick and tired of him being rude. So, um, like, Jeremy decided to donate $25, and then he got pissed off because his name was no longer as recent donation. Thank you for the bird stuff. I wish there was a way to preserve your weapons. These are cool weapons. And then when he, he got he got pissed off that Jeremy did that, so he donated another ten dollars. He donated ten dollars after that, and instead of putting his actual name, he, he titled it "Want Some More," and he sent me ten. So then Jeremy said said it as latest donation. Um, to be a certain latest donation and highest donation so that his donation, I guess he felt like his donation would look small. Oh, I guess there goes all my, uh, there goes my battle axe. Oh, well. That's okay. So he got pissy about it. And, um, he decided to do, are you still there, Michael? He decided to do a, um, a chargeback. Basically, he sent me money for a donation and then told PayPal he wanted a refund. And then I was like, what the fuck? Because, you know, that's $30 gone from my account. You know, for nothing. That's not like I did anything wrong. And... <laughs> He's threatened to troll my account. He threatened to, um, he said he was going to send money every single day of the week just so that way he could, um, 
turn around and give it to somebody else. And so I called PayPal and told him about it, and because apparently he broke the terms of service, um, he isn't, like, basically they, they gave me the money. So PayPal penalized him by letting me keep the money because they know that he did what he did to be a dick. They know that it wasn't like a, a legit transaction since he was playing around. And I, apparently from what it sounded like he had done this thing to other streamers before. And so like PayPal was like, yeah, if he continues to send money to you, you're just going to be able to keep the money. And so like I was like, yes, because then that meant like I got like 50 bucks. Take your time. But did you hear what I said? Okay, good, yeah. Who knows what was the problem? And then, like, I talked to the dermatologist today because of the eczema, which, in case a lot of you don't know, eczema is an inherited skin disorder to where you have, like, you know, your skin turns red and scratchy and it's not contagious to other people, but it's, you know, something you can inherit. And so I wanted to get it taken care of. And I talked to that dermatologist and... Um, I mean, like, usually when I tell guys about it, guys are like, so what? You know, they don't get it. But, like, to a girl, you know, we're overly critical of our appearances. So, like, it's a big deal to us. Probably means nothing to you, but it means something to us. And, uh... Apparently, they scheduled an appointment on the 20th and didn't even tell me. They didn't even tell me that there was one. And the woman was like really snotty with me. I was like, okay, what is the problem? But yeah, I took a nap today. I was really tired. And Apple was being really stupid. Because apparently they were like, the guy was like, don't you know better to back up your information? Oh, crap. I'm going to just die up there. It's like, no shit, Sherlock. I know to ba back up my info, but he's like, you should have had, um, what was it called? I think he called it, like, time capsule or something. I'm like, yeah, that means I'd have to have it plugged in all the time. Oh my gosh, that poor man. Hey, Jay. 
<laughs> and hey, um, Spectrum. I like how he goes, you're cute. <laughs> he's like, back up! No, he's not mine. But that's just funny, he's like, back up! <laughs> No, I just met Spectrum. And I liked my vicious sickle. I like how they call it vicious sickle. Thank you, Jay. That's really sweet of you. Yeah, I'm independent. You went to score? I hope that means not what I think that means. <laughs> Spectrum. Hmm. This is a pro controller. It kind of reminds me of an Xbox controller. It's okay, but I had a little better expectations for this. I wanted it to be glowing or something, you know what I mean? Be fabulous. back roast <laughs> I like it. it's like ooh roast <laughs> not scoring what does scoring mean because if that means sex I'm gonna score my fist up your butt I'm not like some sleaze bucket that goes around fucking bunches of dudes Yeah, what do you do? Huh? So those crickets you want to self you want to make four of them into one potion so when you cook them, cook four plus one monster part will give you one full stamina potion. Michael's like, the only scoring you will do here, me, bucko, is hitting the back coop of a waste, of me waste basket. <laughs> you guys are funny. Ah. Mm. I like the amiibo, though. They're really cool. Because at first I was like, why are we buying expensive little figurines? You know what I mean? Why not just buy a video game? But then I found out you could use them in the game. I'm like, wow, this is great. Oh. I have Pokemon Moon too, but... Mm, slow play. It takes forever. Ah. 
They had, um, I don't remember where I got those bananas. I think I got them out of a treasure chest or something. That or they fell out of a loot crate. I play the shit out of this game, though. I haven't exactly been rushing with it. I've been having a lot of fun. Just, just sitting and enjoying and kicking back. But literally, you can play this game all night long and won't even know. You won't even know that you've done it. Like, you won't even realize. Found out if you drop one of those balloons on something, it'll suck on to like whatever you want to float and it'll float. I think Jay left. Well, Jay, if you like my channel, you should subscribe. Same for you, Spectrum. Ah. I like how that horse is in mid walk. <laughs> I somehow did this really cool slow motion move. I was jumping off a tree, aiming for the fucking, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, I don't think so, Mr. Bone. Bone. Bone Daddy. Oh, fuck. Why didn't it put it on? Beat him up with his own arm, that's it. That's the spirit. Those fangs look weird. Stephen King Oreos aren't the, isn't he that like scary writer? <laughs> I think this is caramel or cinnamon, I forget. You can also feed them carrots. You need those crickets for stamina potion. Can you tell Ross I'm on stream, Michael? I haven't been able to don't download it again. Get the shit out of me. Oh shit. Bad guys. 
like they want you to hurry up at the game or something by doing this. The blood moon rises once again. I wonder who does her voice. Please be careful. She's got a pretty voice. I want to do some voice acting for a video game. That would be awesome, man. Awesome. As you can see, these are the critters that we uh, use today. Gave you a chuckle. I'll look at it in a bit. You might want to just link it to my scape and I'll look at it later. So what's new with you, Michael? I try not to like put the controller down so much in the stream because if I do that People like walk out and stuff like that and it's not good for my screen. What no stuff? Just give me something, dude. Oh shit. It means I gotta kill this thing. Dude, no. Michael, can you do the honors of fixing that situation there? You don't come into my stream and try to, like, advertise. That's rude. Get out.
fucking stupid ass shit. I don't care. It's rude. You don't go in people's places. And tell them to do that. It's not nice. You're advertising for someone else's stream, and that's not appropriate. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I, I'm loyal to things too like that. I hear there's dragons in the game. Yeah, I mean, like, it's okay to be like, there's a picture here, but even then, like, you could just describe it. That's okay, too. I mean... In time, I'd be okay with you posting links, but even then, I wouldn't be able to click on them. It's just like every time I put down the controller to stop for that, you know. <laughs> Something happens and stuff. Pretty pony. I noticed if you rescue a pony in distress. They actually will respect you more, the horse, and they'll make it easier to catch. Dude, I just beat him up with his own weapon. Walk up to the bird and swap the shit out of it. Nope. 
fun. So what'd you guys do today? All these monsters. How he didn't even see me coming.
Absolutely nothing. So how did you guys find out about my channel? game. Ancient shaft? Is that like an old guy's dick or something? Screw with your ancient shaft. You can do the ancient screw with the ancient shaft. Don't scare the shit out of me.
Wave Chat, thank you for uh, for liking my or for subscribing. You can't just whack it in the eye. that too. stupid. Gone through like 20. I went from 10, 30, 30 shots now. It only has one weak point. It's that eyeball. It's the deck. Sweet. A chicken leg? You had a chicken leg in there? Really? At least I got a ton of loot. I wonder what it would be like if I exploded these things. Nothing. Okay, invincible tentacle monsters. Yeah, the, the bosses are very difficult in these games. I find that you have to whack the shit out of them to really get anywhere in this game. I think they did that so that way you would be playing the game longer or something.
Yeah, I agree. I don't know why either. It's kind of crappy if you ask me. I had a knight's bow and arrow, and that broke like this when I was battling like a bone cyclops or whatever it's called. I found it incredibly annoying. Stamina is awful, so you have to really cook a lot to really get your stamina up. Yeah, apparently um, their reasoning for doing this is that they wanted people to play the game more. So they thought if they would make the weapons break, that people would automatically just play the game more. Which I see the reasoning, because it forces you to spend more time on it, but at the same time it's not enjoyable. So normally I would be very, very far in a game by now. But because of the fact that I had to literally loot, because you're, you're forced to loot. Like, you actually have to loot. If you don't loot, you're gonna, like, die. As you can see, at nighttime you already got monsters to deal with. And, you know, if you want to avoid the night monsters, you have to get flints. It's like they know. Look at the fucking bees. Wasps. <laughs> Fucking ball sacks. Oh, 
Well, I just told you why. And hey, Inferno Dragon, how's it going? I looked it up on the internet, and apparently it was Nintendo's way of getting people to play the game more. It's rather unfortunate considering, you know, a lot of people play this game for, you know, relaxation purposes. They don't want to play this to stress out or feel like they have to overwork at it or anything like that. Also incredibly easy to die in this game as well. And if you don't stock up on the loot, like, you will die in the game. Like, you just can't go without loot. Literally, it forces you to go around and look and explore, and that was the purpose of Zelda to begin with, is to look and explore. And frankly, if they didn't have the, uh, you know, the objective marker there, I'd probably go bonkers. Because it's just this world of silver, diverse. There's just so much to do and see. You're pretty cooked, what do you mean? Hey Phantom, how's it going? Luckily I have my computer, so now I can like talk to you guys, which is good. Mm. You missed I was using amiibos earlier, it was really cool. They also have these conversations with people, and I think they're long and tedious. But sometimes they're good because then they can give you oh. stuff. But I get really annoyed when they don't. Oh, oh my gosh. And they didn't put any effort into the, the voice acting, which I thought was stupid. Just a bunch of moans.
Oh, I get it, Phantom Menace. Who's a pedo? Some of the villains are so difficult to beat, too, like, you have to, like, look it up and see how to beat them. It'd be nice if they indicated what their weak spots were or something, you know, but, like, I guess a real bully would not do that. But then again, nobody pays in rupees. Unless, I mean, I don't know, what is the Indian thing? Is it rupees in India? There's always something to see or do. I I'll give them that. As you can see, I've gotten really skilled with the bow, which is good. could be worse. This could be like no man's land or whatever it's called. Okay, that won't stop me. All right, so watch this. This is really cool, guys. Ta-da! There's better be something cool. Ta-da! Yay! Lubricant for trains. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> well, this looks like something cool here. Oh, no, I gotta do this. 
gotta fix this. I think there's something special here. Hit the deck! Ooh, there was. And shield. Okay, let's see if I have what kind of shields I got. Or do I already have one? Oh, I have one. Emblazoned shield. Yeah, I'll pass. I thought there was something here. Let me try this again. <laughs> Guess not. Oh, well, those chests were cool. chest. Sweet, I needed that. Just, just what the doctor ordered. Enemies are there. Let's get to here. This is in a very useful area. I will utilize this. This thing is heavy. I prefer the Joy Cons better. So it says when a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its glade. Pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. It means hit him in the eye. That's what it means, I believe. I didn't need 
need to sleep, but I will I heard you could craft weapons in this game, but I've yet to see any crafting done. Kind of disappointed. I wanted to make weapons. Maybe you have to win the game, I don't know. But I hate that when games do that. Oh, you gotta beat the game to like craft weapons. Why do I gotta do all that? Hope saving all this money helps. It's a lot of money mm. for fucking gear. I wonder what they use it for. his moans. No moans for you, Michael. Eventually you'll find this guy, he was in Wind Waker. You could eventually buy arrows from him. Sadly, you run out of arrows and stuff in this game easily. And you can't craft them from what I know. If you want that that yellow choo choo jelly, you're gonna have to shoot the person or shoot the choo choo. The red choo choo jelly, you have to shoot them with a fire arrow and that's how you get it. Mm. No moans for you, you don't like that guy's moans. Just only the shopkeeper's moans that are girls. <laughs>
Sometimes you'll find cool things like rupees under there. an asshole. That moron just killed like everyone. to apply it, don't take it off.
Itself. This is normally just half elf, okay. Okay, so you can't leave your apples there long. Or they'll burn. This is fun.
haven't had a baked apple in a long time. Have you guys ever had a baked apple? They look delicious. There's loot all the way over there. Random. Come on, I got you with an axe, fool. What? And he just ran into the water? Really? Yes, I'm very comfy. Uh, 
Oh, fuck the goat. It is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it's my first time playing this game as well. I've, well, I've played the Ocarina of Time a little bit, but I didn't like it because, see, I'm used to, with open worlds, I'm used to playing them with an objective marker. And in the old games, they don't have objective markers. So that was my problem with them before. But this one is really good. If you like Skyrim, you like this. But keep in mind, Skyrim is a breeze compared to this game. Because this game, you only start off with four hearts. You only get four hearts to start off with when you play, or three hearts, sorry. Three hearts and a minor, a minor wheel of stamina. Whereas with Skyrim, you can actually customize it with mods to make it easier. You could, um... You could just do so much with the game, I can't begin to describe the amount of easiness that Skyrim is. This game, if you fall, you die. Like, simple as that. Not die, but like, you lose a heart. Basically, you get like three or four hearts. It's, it's not so forgiving. You have to collect a ton of fruit and a ton of food and potions and stuff because they want you to move harder and work harder. Thank you for following one, one, one dig. Oh, were you watching, um, from Twitch? Like, as you can see, the terrain in this is, is not so forgiving. It's vigorous, but it's fun. You could be here forever playing this game, essentially. I mean, well, not literally forever, but you get what I'm trying to say. And, like, so you get attacked with more monsters at nighttime, so you need things like flints and stuff, and you need to build a fire. Hold on, I'm gonna fall. That was a good one. See how far down that is? Also, if you fall like such a great distance or you get hit with a really bad character, you could lose like all of your hearts like really easily. So the more hearts the better and you get more hearts when you when you go to shrines and stuff. And the beginning isn't that easy either. It's not going to be like a breeze. Yeah, the weapons break very, very quickly as well.
So when they break quickly like that, it makes it difficult for you to really operate the way you should. Um, so that forces you to explore more. It forces you to um, loot more and stuff like that. Whereas people who are impatient and they just want to push through the game, you know, it's it's not going to be really quick. You know what I'm saying? You can't... I mean, there is people that can, like, beat the game, but, like, you know, a lot of those people who have beaten the game have had mods and things to make it much easier for them to succeed. Um, now, I recommend if you get this game, you get amiibos. These are amiibos. This is right here is an amiibo. This is Espona the Horse with Zelda riding it. And you put it on here when you use your amiibo as a rune. And this, um, it will drop loot. A crate of loot. Um, I recommend getting the monsters. Because they give you better loot and it makes your game easier. Oh, you're Nate one dig. Um, no, you cannot climb any surface, but you can climb most. So, like, in the shrines, they don't allow you to climb any surface you want to climb. <laughs> I still want to jump down there and grab all those fish. Fortunately, there isn't a carry weight, but there's a limit on how many things you can carry. So essentially, it's like a carry weight, but it's not. As you can see, there's I'm fishing here, and the reason for fishing is because you need to stock up on your fish. I'm gonna let myself die here on purpose. So that way I don't have to, like, die. You see, I can get food easily, but stamina potion I cannot. So I started off with extra hearts. I'm gonna let myself die again. Thank you for watching one one dig. I appreciate it. I guess he likes cherries or something because his name is is Nate Cherry. At least that's his username. At least I don't know if that's his real name. I don't think it's his real name. Your real name is Nate Cherry? Man, that's some name. <laughs> I say that if you're looking for a game that's gonna last you a long time and is challenging this is the game for you especially if you're looking for something with strikingly clear graphics I think these graphics are beautiful although I am also a graphic designer so 
you know, I have different style when it comes from my artwork, but for someone who, for a game like this that's open world, I think this is a beautiful game. how they put those things at the very edges of cliffs. Goat could survive anything. That's the epic goat. Most epic goat I've ever met. Better to use a sword on those birds. Eventually, when I get enough stamina wheels, I'll just get rush room to, like, make him move faster. Thank you for your seed. <laughs> Sounded disgusting when I said that, but you know what I meant. <laughs> I'm 
Checking the mountain for any other goodies. Is that way down there? No, 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 don't do that. Okay. Looks like he's getting cold. Good thing I have just the alpha for you, Link. Looks like there's a shrine down there. Shrine over there, like three shrines. So it looks like I want to go to that place right there first. Right. It's the closest one. Take off this thing. All right, well, here goes nothing, guys. You ready? Whee! about this is when you go like this you lose a lot of chances to get loot but that's okay because this will open our map
Nice. That was great. Horses, I saved your life. All of your death, you dumb fucking horse. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Prince Tarble, how are you? Um, I'm okay. I mean, I've, I'm still in the second... I'm like, I've seen several shrines, but I'm not like... I'm not like three quarters of the way done, I don't think. I'm probably... I feel like I'm halfway done, but I'm sure there's other things for me to do. Unfortunately, this game forces you to loot a lot, so like you have to um, really push hard to succeed. Yes, this is the Switch. I'm using the Pro Controller for the Switch. It's something you had to pay extra money for. I recommend if you get this game that you, um... Get Amiibo to go with it. As you can see, I have to loot a lot. Like, you get more monsters at night than you do during the day in this game. And so, like, you want to get things like flints, and you get them, like, from stuff like this. This rock here. Let me get up here. And if you don't get a flint, you get, like, a special stone. And those stones actually help. They, uh... You can sell those stones for, like, rupees and make arrows out of it. special stone up here. I really want it. Yeah, if you get amiibos, I suggest that you get this game, um, but get, like, amiibos related to the game, because you get better drops. Um, because you need that loot to be successful.
throw. Ninja Link Sheik Armor, yeah. That's what it is. Where are you from? Okay, I see you have to use the right button to throw. <laughs> Alright, I'll get this. I know I can. That's not what I want to do either. I'm from Florida. I was in Atlanta during the hurricane. For fuck's sake.
Um, that's not where I want to go, Link. I live in Central Florida, an hour south of Orlando. Any suggestions for this, guys? I want to do a bomb arrow, but I don't have money for, I don't have money, I don't have bomb arrows, see? That's why I've been using this crappy ass regular bomb. It's crappy and it. I hope I'm not making you uh, aggravated, guys. I'm about ready to give up on this fucking rock. That's a smart one, guys. Thank you so much. Wow, that was intelligent. Thank you. getting sucked out that way now. Alright, I guess I have to use a fucking... Shit, what did I do that for? We will win this thing, don't worry. Think outside of the rock, nice. leaf and use that to blow the wind. This is 
seems like the wind's taking it wherever it wants to go. So we seriously gotta chop down every fucking cherry tree here. Like, I would think there'd be at least one leaf here. I swear, if this breaks my axe, I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> Motherfucker. leaves. Hey, thanks Prince Tarble. Thank you for following. Throw the hammer. I could try. Close. Good idea. I gotta do that again. I think that'll work. <laughs> Got it! Good job. That was smart. Thank you so much. Wow, that was a really great idea. Ten points for Lewis. Jump off a cliff like you did last time. This stupid horse jumped off the cliff. And my normal horse is too far away. Okay, you couldn't walk around that tree, you stupid horse. Thank you for following, Lewis. Yeah, you, you guys are like epic. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Literally one of those bonko monsters were all, was on this horse. That's how I was able to get it. I'm gonna go in the street and see if there's anything cool. I see something right here. Yeah, they simulate real life scenarios so that way you, uh, so it's more realistic in this game, although I think it's stupid because it's like, why are we simulating real life? This is an elf. It's not like there's actual elves in real life. Alright, maybe electric sword for this guy. You literally 
have to kill like a special boss for that. For that one thunder blade. He's like, yeah, I know, I'm trotting. Yeah, that horse likes to trot, yo. It's like, look at my speckled buns. Mmm. Sexy pony buns. Thank you for the acorn squirrel. It rains a lot. What? There's no loot here? Oh, there's loot in there. fuck that is Retreat or the mermaids retreat, the monsters retreat. Get ice bats and all this shit. Central here. You do all these stupid things to get out of the water. Well, that was worth a look. Oh yeah, it gets difficult as the, the game proceeds. I personally think it's retarded that it has to be this difficult. Because, you know, you want to keep people around. You should have a setting for difficulties. Not just be like, oh, well, let me make everything extremely difficult. Because you can you imagine there's a child that's going to play this game? You know what I mean? Like, I get it. A lot of people who buy this are adults, but are like, you know, if you're going to make this for adults, then make it adult-like. But if you're not going to make it for adults, then... Slow your roll, yo. You want to play over there? Go ahead. But we're gonna play over here. They always do that. They nearly fall off a cliff or something. Oops. 
please. Like they purposely play near the edge so that way you have to like almost die trying to get their guts. Come on, I want a flint. So sell for a good price. <laughs> Stamina shrooms are really good. To help with your stamina. I bet. Yeah, I hear. I mean, I played Ocarina of Time um, a little bit, and I didn't really like it because, well, frankly, I didn't know where the fuck I was going. But yeah, I hear they're very difficult. My best today, guys. I've been kind of drained, working all week. People say streaming is 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 easy, you know. Like the watchers say that, but they don't know what the it's like for the streamer, you know. Cause you're if you're streaming, you're standing all, all the time, or not standing. You're um you're sitting upright all the time. that thing.
What is that thing in the tree? Would it be a oh, breath of the wild? RPG factor. Oh snap, that's what it was. That's cute. He hid right in the middle of a tree, wow. I bet you nobody would find that normally. Oh, snap. Frames per second? What about it? The There's no problem with the frames per second in this game. What you're experiencing is lag, and that is because I'm a small streamer, not a, not a mainstream streamer. And that's not because I want that to be that way. That is because... Um, Twitch and YouTube would not give me the better it would not give me higher frames per second because they reserve that for their major streamers unfortunately and I wish that I had better I could do better and I could set my recordings to be higher frames per second but then Twitch will purposely add lag so that way people who are trying to watch it at like say 1080p um, won't be able to see it. Which is really unfortunate if you ask me. per second aren't bad on this game. Not that I've seen. But if you can bring more awareness to my channel get more people to watch it, um, for sure the frames per second will be better. Because Twitch will see that I have a following and they will help me. No doubt I will do good by the end of this year. I don't doubt that any bit in the slightest. What is that thing? Interesting. I have a a, a, a a web page that lists all my stuff if you want to look and see what I have as far as social networks. 
Well, this is, you know, it's a console, so, but, yeah, I guess, well, this be considered console? I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, and I'm not used to my turn. This isn't a PC, but regardless um, of it not being a PC, I think that this system is beautiful. Thank you, Prince Tarble. I definitely appreciate that. And remember, I have a Facebook page, too, so if you ever want to, like, you know, look at it, you can. There's not much on them for now. I mean, I have Facebook, I've got Patreon, I've got, um, Twitter, I've got Twitch, I've got everything, pretty much. they have this for PC. I, I think this is only for Switch, although I believe it was originally made for Wii U, and then like the Wii U didn't have a really good following. I believe that is in part because of the fact that it was too heavy. I mean, this alone, this remote alone is too heavy for me. I can't physically... But that, that's not... This is the Pro Controller, so that if you're a guy and you actually have like you know, big hands. This will be an ideal console for you. Oh, shit. Shit. Hold on a second. Or an ideal, um, a console controller. Um, I usually like to use the Joy-Cons, which is this. And then you can put them in a chargeable thing. I think they're almost done charging. I might switch to it soon, because... I don't really care for this Pro Controller. It's on, well, yeah, I mean, I heard there is a ripped version on the Wii U. I don't know if they have an actual version that's not hacked. Can't be playing hacked versions. Oh, great. The welcoming committee. I appreciate that. That guy is like raging over 9,000. Dumbbells. Did I just throw a rock at me? He's like, take my rock, bitch.
there's some good loot over here, these fucking morons. Hey Sanguine, how's it going? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Let me read up, because I've watched main streamers, and I have to say their attitudes are just really rotten. I mean, like, they want people to spread their stuff and sub to, to them, but don't even want to pay a channel a look. Um, well, I mean, I understand that. So for me, I have a, this is how I, I look at things. If the person has watched me more than once, like multiple times, and is nice to me and talks to me for purposes to get to know me, then I will for sure look at his channel and subscribe. But if the person isn't a regular here, I don't. I mean, and yeah, we are all trained to say, yeah, like it, subscribe, like it, subscribe, like it, subscribe, but... That's what anybody would do if it's their own channel. Like, if they're streaming, then they're streaming. You know what I mean? You know, they're not... Like, for me, I have people who be like, Can you look at this link? And it's like, well, I can't look at the link because I have to put down my remote, pick up and look at all this other stuff. And then, like, other people who are waiting to see what's gonna happen next, they get frustrated. Because they feel like you're not, they feel like they're being ignored and that what they're watching is somebody not play the game. And that's the point, is to watch someone play a game. It's not because they hate you or whatever, although I know that there are some pretty mean streamers out there from what I hear. I mean, I have a zero tolerance policy so I can be pretty tough, but that's like if someone's like, show me your boobs. Then, yeah, I'm gonna be tough. I'm gonna be like, yeah, fuck you. I'm not showing you my boobs. But, like, that's a normal response. I'm not gonna be like, oh, please don't be asking that question. Because they know better not to ask the question. You know what I mean? Like, their mother taught them. And if they decided to not listen to their own mother, then that's their problem and not mine. And I have every right to be offended if somebody says, show me your boobs. Right? But yeah, I will definitely uh, give your channel a look at and I will subscribe um, if you are a regular here. I uh, watch the problem, the reason why I say it like that is because I get people who come in all the time and they're like, watch my channel, watch my channel. And then they, they, they leave. Like, they don't really... Or they get to know you for one day and then they go. And they only do that so that way they can, you know, not have to keep watching. And I get that. But, you know, I stream like 9 to 12 hours a day. By the time I'm done streaming, I'm spent. I'm like exhausted. It says I needed to take something, but I don't know where it is. Oh well. Actually, what I could be doing... Is... 
up here, I'll see. <laughs> says to take something, but I don't see anything to take. Oh, there they are. Never mind, I'll get there. Hold on. Sorry, people. So, remember that one guy that asked for a blowjob? Oh, there's the arrow. So, there was an arrow underneath. SKS. Oh my gosh, do I really have to climb up this thing and get it? Uh, yeah, I did. And what's Wasteland? Like a game? There we go. You remember Bieber? The guy that asked for a blowjob, and I said no. I met, remember that youth group I told you about that I met him at? Well, usually they have the youth group on Thursdays. And so, he was like, Hey, I miss you. Can you come to the youth group tomorrow? Like, no. Come on. Like, no. He's like, took a selfie of himself and he sent it to me and he's like, Can I see you? I'm like, you can watch me on Twitch, bro. Oh, well, if there's no content, why do you want me to look at your stream? Was he giving you a blowjob or something? What the fuck? Oh my gosh, did he just throw that guy at me? Wow. That monster totally just threw his own friend at me. That's pretty funny. Cool looking at his thing. I can't believe my guardian sword already broke. Right, that's why I told you. I think she's referring to someone else, dude. I'm not sure, but even so, like, yeah, she, if there's nothing in your stream, it's nothing for us to watch, even if we wanted to.
Well, it was worth a try. But yeah, she, um... The fuck did that bird just injure itself? Wow. Like, get him in the butt. And <laughs> then use his own weapon to kill him. Nope. Don't fall off the cliff. Like, oh, oh, I wasn't sure. Yeah, he was pretty much like, Come here, you bastard. That was so funny, though, when that happened. I want to try something. You could just light up the apples. Hold on. My hand is numb. I have to pee. All right. Can you boot him out of the channel, Sanguine or SKS, that holster guy? Being rude. Let me like jump in any random channel that has viewers and like ask people to leave so that they could come to mine. That's selfish and rude. Get out. How would you like it if I went in your stream and said that? I swear, you know what I should do? Every time somebody does that, I should go in their channel, stop everything I'm doing, and say, Hey everybody, come look at my channel! Fuck you, holster TV. Fucking asshole. Disrespectful. Yeah, that's like going to somebody's party and saying, Hey, everybody, I'm having a party at my house. Let's leave her house and go to mine. That's like so disrespectful. If I did that in anybody else's channel, I would get kicked out so fucking fast. That my head would be spinning. Like, no, if I can't do it in my channel, neither can you. Or if you, I can't do it in your channel, neither can you. You know what I mean. Yeah, just be, yeah, always ban. Never boot them. I mean, you can boot them, but just boot and ban. Bolt, because they're being disrespectful. And I had somebody that I just kept, all I did was I kept um, banning him. And he just, or not banning him, I kept booting him. And he just kept coming back over and over and over. It's like, oh my gosh. You stupid cow. Like, how do you not learn? You know what I mean? And it's like, they want me to be nice, but it's like, well, they're not being nice. You know what I mean? It's like they're asking for me 
to be a bitch to them. It's like, well, gee, you want me to be nice, but you're being a dick. Especially when I work so hard to be successful and people just come in and are like, let me just shit on your success. Yeah, it's like rude and it's mean. Right, well, of course they don't, they don't care about you. Like, they don't care about the streamer. They just care about getting people to leave. And it's disrespectful. You don't go up to people and say those things. themselves there was this one guy he would come into my channel and he would tell me okay you streamed your he said you streamed enough time time to watch my channel is what you say so <laughs> see you hear me he would say that he'd be like time to watch my channel I'm like okay and then I'd go to watch his channel and he wouldn't say anything he wouldn't even put on a webcam he would just sit there and stream his game and say zero. And I'm like, well, why are you doing that? You know, I asked him, I said, what's the deal? Why aren't you saying anything? And he's just like, oh, well, I don't like how I look. And I don't really say much. I'm like, well, you can't ask somebody else who's putting herself out there to be seen and heard to stop streaming so that way they can watch you do gameplay. They can watch gameplay on my channel and there be just the same amount of, you know, like, you know, you can see the exact same thing. The difference is I'm willing to show my face. If you're not even willing to show your face, why should people leave when we're streaming the same game? He's like, well, because it's my turn. It's my turn. I'm like, no, it's not your turn. And uh, that was starting to be when I stopped, when I started to stop uh, caring about his friendship because he just never was considerate of me or any, anyone else. And so after a while, I was just like, why are we doing this thing taking turns? I don't want to be taking turns. I have to be streaming myself. It's my job. I have to do it. It's how I have to make money right now. So, you know, nothing, no hard feelings, but unless the person is actually like an active watcher of mine, somebody who watches me on a regular basis, not leaving my channel for them. So, I think it's fair, you know? Somebody actively watches me so I can actively watch him. But the thing is with him, like, he just wanted all the attention, and every time I started streaming, he'd be like, Hey everybody, hey watch my stream. I'm like, no, 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 not cool. I don't blame you, Prince. Oh, I know, I, he was complaining to me because he was like, oh, I never get anybody watching my stream. Blah, blah, blah. My life is horrible and I hate my life and da, da, da. I'm like, well, duh. You're not showing your face. Why would they watch you? They can't see your face. If they, did, if they wanted to see 
a video of gameplay, they would watch PewDiePie or somebody else, or they'd watch me. They wouldn't sit there and keep watching you because you're not showing your face. but like to be frank with you that 5,000 viewers I had those were the 5,000 viewers that I had that I never asked to sub I only started recently asking for subs because I realized I was doing something successful and that I wanted to keep doing successful because I thought well Jesus 5,000 viewers that I had I could have told them I could have said hey subscribe and had turned those 5,000 viewers into 5,000 subscribers. And so that's why I'm doing it now. But like, you know, I mean, it's not like I'm going into somebody else's channel and saying that. I'm saying that only to people who are already in my channel. I think it's a reasonable request. I mean, they're already watching. It's not like they're, it's not like I was off into PewDiePie stream and asked him there on his stream to subscribe. No, no, no. I, you know, people are already watching my stream. And so the people only in my stream am I asking for that. I may ask on my Facebook, but I never go into someone else's domain and ask. That's just rude. Yeah. Oh, that we love sex guy. You know who that is, right? That's actually, um, that's actually Kevin Fontana. That's his alt account. He's probably still watching. Listen, Kevin, get over your shit. You're never going to get your $30 donation back. Suck it up and move on. Okay. If you want to watch somebody else's channel, go ahead, but stop watching mine, okay? Because nobody gives a shit about you, Kevin. You try to break the law. At any rate, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Stop stalking me. It's never going to make me like you. Your personality is sour. It's worse than milk. You lied to us. You treated us like crap. You try to get rid of mods in the channel because you have a sick obsession with me. Okay? Find somebody else that is in your own age that will be just as mean as you to date because I am not interested in you. 
I'm only interested in nice people who do nice things. You are not a nice man. You are a con artist and no one likes you. Get the fuck out and don't bother coming back. He donated $30 is what he did. He gave me $20 one day and $10 another day. And the second that he donated the money, he asked for it back. Prince calls him a douche nozzle, that's funny. But yeah, be right back. I gotta go pee.
minute, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I said give me a few minutes. Give me like five or ten minutes, guys. I have to like get ready to uh, start the stream again. I just need to like get settled and put on some clothes and stuff. All right, see you soon.
accounts to Google. And, you know, I mean, you know how it is with IMDU. Um, you know, they can IP ban somebody, and that's a little more, but, you know, right. they change their IP. And, and we'll just start from there. Hey guys, um, I'll be back in a second. I'm almost ready. SKS, SKS, can you do me a favor and list all of Kevin's accounts and possibly send them to my um, send them to my my um, my Facebook, please. I can't see what he said because it's slow. It's a white background. Hold on. Oh, I think he was referring to um, Luna Frost's picture in the top right with her bouncing boobs. That's why he said silicon, probably because he thought our boobs were silicon. Either way, it's none of his business. Let's get the D.
so I'm almost ready. Sorry, I, I usually stream for so many hours and then I need to get situated. Let's see, what did he say? I can't see the chat. I need to load it on my computer because my computer went dead while I was gone. Dude, I had no idea that Jay was still even watching.
the fridge for too long. Look at this. Look at that, it's like solid. So I'm gonna put that there and let it sit. Grab my computer and come back and sit down. It's in the freezer actually, but This needs to stop leaking everywhere, please. That would be very nice. Got my butter on it. Now to make sure I don't drop her. I'm back and my favorite soda at the moment is exploding. But that's okay, because everything's gonna be dandy. Cause we're gonna have a great stream, right? Regardless of all the assholes that came in here earlier. <laughs> well, asshole, really. I like how you're like, yes I have to, Sponge. He just called her a sponge. <laughs> Miss Sponge. Super knowledge sponge. Yeah, I hate when they do that. I think they do that, the where they make the male characters look super gay and the females look super masculine. I think they do that so that way guys will be willing to play both characters. I have to what? Bunny, sir, I love the bunny. <laughs> Do you like my bunny? I think she's adorable. I decided to put my hair up just to keep it clean and neat, you know? So what did I miss, guys? Like, because I, my computer died, but like, I mean, I could always look in the feed, but like a, 
if you could give me a short summary of what happened, that would be nice. My computer I had it unplugged, so it was not um, charging the whole night. I did that because I accidentally got something on the cord and it needed to air out. I have no luck with power adapters, I swear. <laughs> I mean, jeez. Hashtag glitch. I'm just going to put this napkin around this um, pomegranate juice. This pomegranate juice is excellent. It's really good. I put it in the freezer to make it a little cold. Yeah, I noticed that, at least in, like, games like this, that are, like, made in Japan and stuff, because, I don't know, they're, like, going towards that direction, but, like, I, you know, for a while there, they were getting, they were over, ma making the men over masculine, for a while, because if you look at the way, you know, superheroes dressed in the 60s, like, in the comics, they were not masculine at all. They were kind of like this, except this is more geared towards feminine. Yeah, I don't blame you. Who did you ban? Yeah, I don't like super masculine women either. I mean, I suppose maybe if I was, like, gay, maybe, but, like, I'm not gay. Even if I was gay, I wouldn't want a woman to look like a dyke. You know what I mean? I'd want her to look like a woman, you know what I mean? That's the purpose of being gay. If someone's gay, they're gay. That means they want to date somebody that actually looks like their gender, not just happens to carry their genitalia like that's common sense well, a couple of couple of dills great let's see if I can get this running Yeah, I'm sorry for my break, guys. Literally, I, you know, I only, I work for like nine hour days and get, nine to twelve hour days and I only get like a one hour break. But I need it, you know, because I have to get up, pee, move around, get food, etc. His name was Yellow? Or Jello? Oh, Jello. I thought you said Yellow. It was a Yellow. Let me see. I'm glad you're also, like, maintaining the English-speaking people, or maintaining the, um, Hispanic. Let me read. Hold on. So that Jello guy, do you think he's what's his face?
Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, like, it's only common respect that they speak the language that's being streamed, you know what I mean? Like, I don't go into a Portuguese stream and start speaking English. That's just stupid. Yeah, I would like it if you can make a list. Um, I mean, I'm going to try to make a list myself, but, like, two eyes, two sets of eyes are better than one. If you could, like, make a list, that would really help me. Um, like, of his names, like, his, uh, usernames. Because we plan on going to YouTube with this and being like, look, this is what's going on. Because... And really what you need to be doing, if you can, is, like, flagging what he's saying. Because he's, see, like, I woke up today, and there was a ton of people that, there was a ton of, uh, like, streams that just had flag, 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 flag. I guess what had happened was, he went in and tried to cover his tracks by deleting those flags or by de try not deleting by uh, <laughs> trying to ban those streams you know what I mean like flagging them so that way they get taken down but what he doesn't realize is that this stream is for Nintendo and I'm part of the Nintendo program which means that if you do flag my stream I will still, what YouTube will do is it'll see the flag, then Nintendo will come in and say, no, 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 she's part of the Nintendo program, and they will put it back up. And the reason why is because there's nothing illegal about my stream. The only thing that he can get me for is the music and the game. And because I am part of the Nintendo program, um, he can't... He can't get my stream taken down. Does that make sense? Because the only thing he could do that for is for a copyright violation of music that's being played in the game. But Nintendo says, no, no, no. We we have her a part of our program. She could play our video games and the music in her videos because it's there to sponsor Nintendo. Or support Nintendo. It helps Nintendo with business. That's why Nintendo doesn't try to do anything to get my stream taken away. Does that make sense? Yes, Kevin tried to flag the videos. Yeah, Google Translate works. But, like, I don't really like Google Translate. Um, I, I mean, like, I like Google Translate, but I don't like to translate what people are saying. Is what I'm saying. Because, you know, when I'm streaming, I don't have time to sit there and translate some weirdo's fucking foreign language. Like, not to be rude, but seriously, like, you're in an English stream. Why should I have to translate things for you? Because you are too lazy to translate it yourself. You know what I mean? You don't go in Rome... And, you know, like, what they say is, when in Rome, you do as the Romans do. You don't just do what you want to do because you feel like it. It's being rude, you know what I mean? Oops, did it again. I keep forgetting the controls are a little different from Xbox. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> but yeah, he flagged my videos, and I'm just like, are you for real? Like, you may have been able to get rid of, get away with that with other videos in the past, but because I'm part of a gaming program, that Nintendo supports me. Nintendo wants me to stream their games. And 
that is a mutual beneficial that's mutually beneficial to me and Nintendo. So nice try, Kevin. But you won't win. We used to have somebody that was actually worse than him. That actually would come in here all the time. The Hylian race. He would come in here all the time and he would just flag my stream. He flagged my stream for a month straight. The guy was crazy. And then he realized that he wasn't going to get away with it. That he just couldn't keep doing that. Um, that, you know, what he was trying to do was not going to work. And uh, that it was only going to make people hate him. And it did. He lost a lot of friends over it. And he felt stupid and he felt bad. And he eventually came back and apologized. And now... What was that thing? Oh my gosh. Does that seriously happen? Oh wow. That animal just walked up to that. That's funny. Dominoes! Oh shit! Let him up! Woo! Domino effect. I sub what will show up on the stream. What are you talking about? What is he going on about? It's a weird piece of land. I only see things like this in Europe. <laughs> Prince, you're funny. I don't know, what does my thumbnail for the stream look like? Damn it, I should have like cut that look. Travel with that torch, Link. You are the new Olympian of the year. Jiggly boobs. Boobies. 
I was like, I don't like his boobies. <laughs> Prince is funny. He was talking about my boobies. Boom Boom's boobies are the best. She's like, I like my boobies. Mm, boobies. Mm. Whoa, whoa, guy. I wasn't even talking about you. Is it really of jiggly boobs? Like, what's it of? <laughs> Gee, this looks like a real challenge, man. Put that there. I guess bombs don't. I would think a bomb would like that. Those thorns on fire. See, the thing is, I would try to get up here any way I could, but like, it looks like you're gonna have to climb to get up here. And if you do, your flame will go out of fire. Now, I could have climbed up here while these other ones were on fire, but you know, I just didn't do that. A very perilous tower. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he was making a joke or what he was doing. Don't fall, Link. Please don't fall. So I asked Jeremy, I said, you know, because Jeremy's my producer, I said, hey, how old were you when the first Zelda came out? And he said, oh, I was 10 years old. I'm like, wow. You know, because the first time I heard about it, oh, that was a shooting star, that's cool. What the fuck? He said I was 10 years old, and I was like, really? I was like, wow, I was like 10 years old when that happened to me. What is that thing over there? It's fucking weird. <laughs> Can someone look up and see what that is all about? That meteorite? Whatever that was. Gosh, how the fuck am I gonna get up here? fire was one of your powers. That would have been so much better. It was. Jeez. Like, the only entrance in there is guarded with this shit. Yeah, I know, but, like, what does it mean? Like, is it a loot drop, or what is it? Because normal meteorites don't do what it did.
Gosh, I wouldn't want to climb this tower without any stamina. Thank God. Well, where did it go? Oh, there it is, over there. Looks cool, I'm gonna go check it out after this. Now I can fast travel to there. Let's update your fucking chic is late. Tells you where everything is. He's cute. A loot drop? Ooh. Probably meant to distract me, which it adequately did. <laughs> oh shit. And Link died. He Link's like, fuck you. It's there. I wanted to try to climb to the top of this. Guess you can't. Alright, well then this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to the furthest part we can. It's the closest. We're gonna eat some fucking steak or something. Om nom! <laughs> Yum yum! <sighs> Tasty. Okay, now that we did that, ready? Set. Geronimo! Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't lose the loot. Come on, did this really have to get me this low? I knew it would do this. It's the second time I saw it happen in the game. Wish I knew the first time. funny. Oh, where did all the... How did I miss that star drop? thought it was like here. Did I really miss the loot drop? Oh, no fun.
fucking stupid thing. How old are you, Prince? Have you played any of the Lynx or Lynx uh, Zeldas? Hmm. I wonder if I go back in time if that'll change things. Just start from here and see what happens. Well, I knew where it fell because I remember where it did, but you know, because there's like the big light, but when I got there, there was nothing there. By the time I get to the top of this tower, maybe it will fall. cousin was little he had this game not this one but like another Zelda game and uh, he really loved it I know because like when I was um... man I think I chose the wrong way to go up yeah, I did. My cousin actually stole my video games when I was little and I got pissed off and I went looking for them. He's like, my aunt was like, oh, maybe you were misplaced them. I'm like, no, you don't get it. Back in the 90s, um, we had these Karen cases and that's what I had. I'm like, no, Aunt Karen, I would never misplace my game. Um, you know, because she was okay with her husband, her husband, her kids stealing people's stuff. Even though she was rich and she could afford to buy it. And so I was pissed off. I was like, no man, like that's not the case. And I told her, I said, look, I don't misplace gaming stuff. They stay in this case and they never come out. And then she was just like, oh, well, um, I don't believe you. And so I went and um, was like, you know what? I'm going to prove that he took it. And I went and I looked in her car, her sports car, and where there was his video games with mine. The asshole actually put his video games with mine. 
So that way he could steal my video games. He like took all of them. So I was pissed off. And I was like, I went up to Mark. And I said, I know you stole my video games. I found them here. I said, and as consequence for that, I'm going to steal a handful of yours. And he was just like, you can't do that. I said, I can't do that? I said, watch me. Because the second that you say boo, is the second I take this, I said, I could either, like, go and take this whole entire video game case and bring it to your mother and my parents and show them that you stole it. Or are you just going to sacrifice a couple of games? Because I'm sick and tired of you taking all my games. No, it's okay. Yeah, like, I understand. My dad and mom, they're all assholes. Well, I don't see this loot, dra loot drop anywhere. Oh, I wonder if it's a one-time ordeal. That would be a shame. Right, no, my my cousin never returned my items, ever. I had this one computer, it was like this little miniature, because my dad wanted me to get into the swing of using computers, because apparently that's where the business world was going, is towards using computers. I, I have like stickies on her, her ears. Um, it's so like... I really loved it because it would light up and glow and you, it looked like a real computer and you would just press the keys and little things would come up on the screen. And I'd be playing with it and my aunt would walk up to me and she goes, oh, well, you don't need that, Carrie. And she'd take that out of my hand and hand it to her son. She's a rotten family and I wanted to punch her in the face. And then one time I went over their house years later and found a bin of tons of toys, of just toys that she stole from me, that her and her son stole from me. And I can't tell you how many times I just wanted to punch her right in the throat and be like, you fucking bitch, how dare you. She's lucky I didn't, but like, you know, I'm not that type of person to hurt people like that, but boy did I want to. But I would never hurt her, ever. But you know what that feeling is like, that pit in your stomach where you're just so angry that someone stole something from you? I think it's a common feeling. I don't know. Should I try going back to that? Oops, don't fall. Should I try going back to that spot? Or I don't even know where it is, to be honest. Or should I just go to a different shrine or something? I think it was over there, but like I don't see it anymore. Yeah, it was over there. Oh, I did. She, okay, so remember the woman I told you about the other day that was like, your family loves you. Remember that bullshit? The one that I was like talking to and telling her, she's the rich lady. She's the, the rich lady I told you about. The one that like decided, like, okay, so my Aunt Karen, she's filthy rich and she's rich because she married into 
a rich situation. Her husband was the vice president for Lehigh Cement. So, and, and at first he was, like, the vice president for, like, Blue Circle or something. I don't remember. It was another cement company. And, um... Gosh, I'm trying to figure out. Do I want to go over there? Regardless, she was... She married a man that was working for a cement company. And he was rich. And so they have a huge house. And their house... This is a pretty view. They have a huge house. And their house is actually right behind Herbert Hoover the Third's house. So their neighbor is Herbert Hoover the Third. Herbert Hoover the Third. See, there's one over there too. Hmm. I think I'll choose that one way over there. I like both, but I prefer tomato at this moment. Yeah, that's my aunt. Alright, hold on. And what she would do is every, um... Every, uh, holiday, she would come to, um, Florida, and then she would leave, she would give me re-gifted gifts. And show up on our doorstep and expect us to take her in. And my aunt had like herpes. Okay, I don't have herpes, but she does. And she, you know, because when she was younger, she would like kiss all the boys and shit because she was a moron and didn't realize that, yes, STDs are real, Aunt Karen. Um, and so, like, she would go and she was unhappy that she had STDs. So she would go up to everybody in our family. And try to give them herpes. I never got it, thank God. Because by the time my mother realized what was going on, almost everybody had had it except for me. Because I was like the baby. I was still very young and whatever. And she would do stuff like she would go up and she'd try to borrow our toothpaste. She would try to borrow our... She was just like a real pain in the ass. She'd show up at any given time and try to bring her dogs over and expect us to like take care of her dogs and shit. And she'd get mad if we didn't want to uh, take care of her dogs. And she was just very rude. But anyway, she would give us broken, re-gifted gifts. Like stuff that people gave her that she didn't want. Like, for example, one time she gave me an angel on Nightlight, and it was broken and missing a wing. You don't know who Herbert Hoover III is? Do you know who Herbert Hoover is? Herbert Hoover, the president. His grandson. There was a guy, President Herbert Hoover and his grandson is Herbert Hoover the third. Yeah, I know. She was really, really mean and like you know, if you were sick, she'd be like, Oh, get away from me and she'd treat you like you had the plague. But then, like, if you were... What the fuck is that bull doing down there?
Yeah, I agree. She was pretty crappy. I mean, she would like... So for one, when my parents kicked me out, she had six cars and her house is huge. If you don't know who Herbert Hoover the Third is, Herbert Hoover the Third is just a rich man. His father was president. His grandfather was president. Therefore, the families are taken care of. Excuse you, Will Hub. You better be polite. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, fucking shit, you guy. Um, Herbert Hoover the Third is like this. So I just got four orbs. I could go to that village over there. Yeah, it was a long time ago, but the point is, is that she's fucking rich. She has this huge fucking mansion and all these rooms. She's got maids, six cars, and she goes out every fucking day of the week to get her nails done so that they can match her outfit and that is which and she brags about it she brags about it. it's not like she hides it she's like oh do you know what I do or she would do something like she would give you she would give you um, a fake Louis Vuitton purse knowing that you want a real one and then she'd be like here you are, it's not real, but look at my real one. I just got it because I figured I got you one so I could get a real one. And it's like kind of like one of those Barbie dolls that you just want to scream at until like, you know, your lungs are like, you know, scream at and just rip all the hair out of. Literally like that is the feeling I get when anybody, that's the feeling everyone gets when they're around her. She's just a mean mean woman and if she doesn't get her way she turns into this child screams and yells and kicks and screams and everything's got to be her way and she's very inconsiderate and does nothing for society absolutely nothing so needless to say I don't like her Herbert Hoover and like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that was from, um, I know where that line's from. That's from uh, Home Alone 2, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, she, she does all this shit. And so the other day she contacted me and she was like, oh, you know, you should, you should call your parents. You know, they miss you. They love you. I'm like, they abandoned me, you fucking moron. Ugh. Well, I don't think he's going to. He gave her, her, or she gave him herpes. So I don't think so. Like, she's an awful woman.
I don't think he's gonna divorce her though. He should though. I have no idea why he puts up with her. She does stuff like she takes her foot and sticks it in his face and she goes, Gary, massage my foot for me. And she's just so inconsiderate and rude. Yeah, I have no respect for her whatsoever. So I think I should go to that village over there. But I wanted to check out this area really quick. Because I saw like there was a monster here and I wanted to kill him. Yeah, I know, like she tried to give it to me apparently when I was a little baby. Like my mom was holding me and she tried to give me an ice cream after she licked it. And my mother quickly grabbed me away from her before she could. And I started screaming and crying because, you know, I was a little kid. I didn't understand. You know, I didn't know what was going on. And she, my mother was like, how could you do that to a little kid? And my aunt was like, oh, I'm trying to be sweet my, with my niece. I have the right. She's like, no, I'm her mother. And if you try to infect my kid with your STDs, I have the right to tell you no. And she did not like that. She got in a huff and she left. And it's like shit like this that made me like get rid of my aunt like because I mean let's be real like when I was kicked out my aunt could have done something right for once in her fucking life but she didn't and so it was just like whatever you know you want to be a greedy nasty skink okay have it your way um because my aunt goes and flies all over the world he gives her his wallet and credit card is like, go and do whatever the fuck you please. She went and decided to make a, a part, a, a condo near where my parents live, but on the beach. She renovated it, and the bathroom is about as small as a hotel bathroom. And she went and decided to spend one million dollars to renovate that bathroom to put special tile there. It wasn't even necessary for her to do that. She just did it. And she knew that like when I was, you know, on the street, you know, when I was kicked out that I really needed a place to go and instead of like helping me, you know, in any way shape or form, she didn't. She didn't. She had like six cars. She could have lent me one, but didn't. She had a condo, and she had timeshares in Hawaii. Like, she had plenty of places and for me to stay and things to do, which just did nothing, so. And then she went and decided to be, like, accuse me of things. Like, she was like, oh, you know, your parents did everything you could, and... She came up with excuse after excuse why she couldn't help me, and I was just like, yeah, bitch. I'm done with you. I said, I do not. I said, I do not want anything to do with you, Karen. I don't know what that means. If you like, I can search the web for. I said I'm not. Oh, my. Well, I was like... When I was a baby, I looked like a China doll. Like, I was the most, one of the most beautiful children you'd ever find. Like, I was the cutest baby. They actually had people come up to my parents and told me I should be a Gerber baby. Which, at the time in the 90s, is supposed to be, like, a compliment. Grasshoppers. <laughs> oh, I know. One million. She'd rather spend one million dollars 
on the fucking shitter than she would on her, you know, like, even, like, even if she gave me a, like, just a place to stay for the time being. I mean, she wasn't even there, like, or even just lent me, you know, room to stay. That would have just really helped my life. I know, well, she was, she had a job as a teacher, apparently her, her reasoning for rubbing all this in her face is that, well, my father got married, and be before, back in the day, if you worked for an insurance company, you could, um, you could get health insurance for your family members, um, so long as you worked for that insurance company. And so she was under his insurance, but she worked as a teacher and therefore didn't make enough to get health insurance. And so to get payback, she decided to rub it in my family's face any way she could because my dad decided to retire at age 40. And so then when she met her husband, <laughs> oh my gosh, this girl's going to kick my butt. But she worked as like a um, teacher, and then she just decided that it'd be okay to try to make us suffer. And I just yeah. So eventually, I you know I I'm thinking about like changing my name completely because I'm just so sick and tired of them and disgusted that I don't even want to be like, affiliated to them in any way, shape, or form. But apparently she claims that her husband lost his job. I'm like, right. She's like, oh, we can't uh, sell it to you. Uh, we can't uh, help you because my husband lost his job. I'm like, yeah, whatever you say. Three for one special. A gold toilet. No, she had, uh, you would think she would have a gold toilet for that much. Um, no, she just got some special tile. 
I remember one time she came up to me. She knew that I wanted Ugg boots for Christmas. Uh, because, like, that's a popular thing from where I'm from. Because they're comfortable and stuff. And, like, she decided to give me what looked like Ugg boots. But were not Ugg boots. Um, what they were were knockoffs that when you put them on, they looked cute, but they hurt when you walked. And she's like... Oh, I knew that you wanted Uggs, so I figured I'd get you some. And she goes, but these aren't real Uggs. No, these are, like, fake Uggs. Um, she goes, I do have some real Uggs, though. My friend went to Australia, and she came back and gave me some. I'm like, gee, thanks a lot. Fucking bitch. And she's, like, rubbing it in my face. I hate that when she does that. Yeah, if I had, um, if I was rich, I'll tell you what my bathroom would look like. And I doubt it would even cost a million dollars. If I was rich, I would make my bathroom have, um, a toilet that flushed super good. So good that, like, I wouldn't have to ever call the plumber, ever, to have him fix my toilet. Um... I actually, it was funny though, because, um, speaking of Uggs and toilets, my ex-boyfriend, he actually, um, his mother had a super good toilet. She also had a fancy bathroom, and he, um, he never would give me a dime, ever. Like, when I say dime, I mean not like money, I mean like he would never buy me anything. Until, like, after we broke up because I caught him on a dating site. Um, behind my back while we were still dating. Um, and then... He, what he did was... After he and I broke up... What was that noise? After he and I broke up... He, uh decided that he was suddenly then gonna try to, like, gift me shit because, um, he was jealous that the next guy that I got with actually had a bigger pay grade than he did. And it was funny because then he actually gave me the Ugg boots. But, like, he only gave me Ugg boots because... The guy that I was dating after him gave me $600 Ugg boots. It's amazing things that people do when they realize that they, that they made a stupid decision and they want to go back on it. But I eventually just got rid of that guy altogether because it was like, because he was really dirty and I didn't like it. Yeah, she was the very definition of, like, snotty. I mean, like, who sits there and gets their nails done every single day of the week to match their outfit? Like, that's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my entire life. I remember she went up to me once and she's like, Oh, you actually paint your nails? Oh, I have no idea how to do it. She's like, Oh, I don't even do that. I just, like... Well, that's really pretty, that sunrise. 
She's like, oh, I just go and um, get them done because it's too much effort for me. I'm like, are you fucking for real? Are you fucking for real? Like, they are, it's nail polish, lady. Like, nail polish we're talking about. We're not asking you to do, like, rocket science. Holy tamole. Holy cannolis. <laughs> Who's that weirdo? I'm not your babe. Let's wake and do some copper? What's copper? That's not copper in the game. That's amber, you moron. Who sounds like an ass? The one that cheated on me? He is an ass. Of course he's an ass. Ass. His mother would like give him his credit card, give him the credit card, and she'd be like, Go buy whatever you want to buy. I hate people like that, it drives me nuts. And he would go and buy like 300, he'd buy like a hundred dollar shoes and leave it out so his dog can eat it. And then he'd, like, have to replace them three different times in the week because he was such a moron. He didn't know better to, like, close the damn door so the dog would need his fucking shoes. I'm like, dude, my dad would, like, have a stroke if I ever even tried to attempt to even get a pair of shoes that were over $25. <laughs> Thank you, SKS, for the ban. And hey, the great fish, I'm not, you're, you know, you can say I'm sexy, but don't be like, don't give me any names that, like, are, what do you call that when you want to, like, say that they're your girlfriend or something? No baby honey, sweetie. I mean, you can call, I call people honey, but no baby, no anything like that. Really? Wow. Yeah. YouTube must be inaccurate in their account of who's watching, because, like, there's obviously more than that amount of people watching. If he's still there watching. Well, that's the thing, because my aunt is older than me, so, like, at the time, she was considered beautiful. However, if you want to compare standard to looks, I'd like to say I think my father was a way better looking man than she was a woman. Only because my dad has, you know, a, just a nicer face. And, but, like, now he's, like, way heavy. He's, like, way overweight. And so, like, his face is really, like... He just let himself go. So, like... I mean, his eyes are pretty, but... If he had not let himself go, I'm sure... That... He would still look attractive, but... I mean, I don't know. I think he's still, in his own way, attractive... For a man, but, like... I don't know. Her face is weird. I, I don't like her face. It's just oddly shaped and when she talks she talk like this. Um, I don't know. Like, let me just say in America when you have long hair and I have long hair when I put it down, when I put my hair down, even if it's a mess, like, 
having long hair is just very attractive in our culture. Um, a lot of girls don't understand that, but if you talk to a lot of men, like 9 out of 10 men that I know would say to you, I prefer a woman with long hair. That's at least American men. Sweetheart pawn, really. Oh good, there's more than one shrine. There's a shrine down there too. Hey, silly nipple. Yeah, I know. Um, you can find shoes that are cheap. You can get them at Ross. That's where my dad wanted to buy every pair of shoes. Even if they looked hideous. And usually those shoes are very uncomfortable. I do not like shoes from Ross. Sorry if I offended anyway, but I just don't like just don't like them. They're not my type of thing. For feet, like, I believe in quality shoes, not, like, always looks. Oh, I see. It's a heart, broken heart. Oh, that's cute. Nice to meet you, uh, Prince. I hope I see you again. You were really nice. gonna do is I'm gonna trade in my orbs. Orbs. How's it going? It's a lake in Amsterdam. So where are you from again? I forgot where you said you're from. I know you're from Asia, you said, right, SKS?
I am from Florida. What's it like in Asia? What email? Did you send it today? Because I checked last night and I didn't get an email. Or at least last night, meaning like before I streamed. It's possible it went to my junk mail if you did. I'll have to look again. Jeez, I'm spilling things all over me. I would appreciate it if you did. Is it okay if I check it though after my stream? Or do you want me to try that like now? Cause I could check it now, but I prefer not to because you know, got people watching. rise everywhere man Florida is actually cheaper than most places in the United States Is that a lot or a little? Because I've never owned a car, so I wouldn't know. I want to own a car, though. It's my dream. Just let me know.
but also it also depends where you're going as well. I don't know, how much does a soda cost? Like, a, let's say a Coke. How much does a Coca-Cola cost from where you guys are located? Okay, he's like, err. Yeah, housing's ever everywhere is expensive. I don't think it's cheap anywhere you go, to be honest. Because they know it's something that people want. Although I hear the market for housing is a lot cheaper now in America. Um, at least it was during the time that Obama was president. And the reason for that was because, like, um, there was no jobs available. So, like, people had to sell their house. Because people were getting laid off and it was very unfortunate. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, Obama changed. There's so much change. OMG. But the only change that was really going on was that we were losing our jobs. Because in America, if you want a part time job, if they give you over 40, if they give you 40 hours minimum, they have to pay you, they have to give you health insurance. So what did employers do? They just stopped hiring. If you go to California, I mean, this guy talks too much. So, I know this. I know if you go to California, it costs way more than like regular Florida does for anything. Like, I believe. I forget exactly how much it costs for a soda, but I think it was, I think he said it was like between four and six dollars for a Coke, which is a lot of money in California.
That's not what I said, silly nipple. Well, that stinks, SKS. I like guns. I think they're fun. I've been to the gun range before. It helps blow off steam. And, um... Silly Nipple... <laughs> Silly Nipple's the person on, um... Twitch. Um, well, to be honest with you... I don't think that having healthcare is a bad thing. What I think is a bad thing is that employers will not hire because they don't want to pay for healthcare. So it's bad because it's like, well, if, if we can't get a job, then even if we wanted healthcare, we can't get it. Because at least if you had a job, you could at least try to pay for healthcare. Do you understand now? Why it's bad what he did? Right, but then again, like, who would want to have a house that's in a shitty area? You know what I mean? Nobody wants a house in a shitty area because then you can get hurt. so it doesn't matter. don't live in a bad area um, because if you did live in a bad area you would understand why it's bad oh wow look at this shop it's great this is Hylian tunic Hylian trousers Hylian hood Ooh, what's that armor back there that looks cool soldier's armor hmm No, that doesn't mean that either, but typically, if a house is expensive, the area is good. Nobody's going to sell their house overpriced unless they're a little bit crazy. I mean, they might, but, like, it's still, you know... Still unlikely.
Well, I don't think all of Asia's dirt cheap, but I bet compared to America, prices are better. Like, if you go to California, I mean, paying $6 for a, for a bottle of Coke, like, we're talking like a bottle of Coke you get out of a Coke machine, not like a, not like a two liter. That's expensive. a lot of rupees. I mined a diamond earlier. That was nice. Five hundred rupees for that diamond. Matt. Let's look at this logically. Would somebody sell a house very cheaply? A decent house very cheaply? If it was in a good area? You tell me. See, it's just the way it works in the world of... Um... What do you call that, Jeremy? Why not? People that sell houses, they're called, um... Realtors. Okay, yeah, a realtor's world, if you live in, if your house is in a shitty area, the price of it always goes down. Why? Because nobody's going to buy it. Nobody wants to buy it if it's in a dump. Be realistic. You could just look up the laws. It's, you could look it up and see and ask because no one's going to do that. The only time you're going to find an expensive house, like a, like a very nice house for a cheap price is if someone died there. Okay, that's when you'll find it cheap. Or if, like, it's in a bad neighborhood. I don't know, Matt. I've never bought a house, okay? I've only lived in apartments. Well, if you gave me an idea how much your Cokes costed, I would probably have an idea how much it costs over there. I have a headache, people. How old are you, Matt? Well, how about an exact number? Like, what is your age? You don't know how old I am. Thanks for ignoring me, Matt. Whatever. Yeah, you're younger than me. I'm 27. when you clean out the forest. Get like 8,000 rupees. Man, those fairies are very helpful. I was battling like a cyclops that was made of bones. 
and um, I had all those fairies, and luckily I, I had to use all three to protect myself because that cyclops was very difficult. Yeah, I saw. He said he was 26. I don't think she's a realtor, Matt. Just saying. Uh. I'm not saying she doesn't know what she's talking about, but I'm just saying, like... You know... Why are, I don't know, like, why are we even discussing houses? I forgot already why we were discussing houses. I'm like, why are we talking about this? <laughs> My shroom shop. <laughs> What is a truffle anyway? Like, is it a mushroom? Like a real truffle. Jeremy, what's a truffle? SKS is like, not today, yo, not today. <laughs> but she's right, though. Like, he's being a little annoying. Like nine thousand rupees. This is a cute one. Huh? See, I think Link looks cute, but I don't like his earrings. semi-detached house? What's a semi-detached house? I live in an apartment, so I don't know what that's like. Mm -hmm. I guess these other items are here if you didn't get them in the other shops. That's a good idea. See what he's got. Like a little knight in shining armor, it's cute. This is 
is 12 to 9. This is 4 to 1. What does that mean, the 4 to 1? 12 to 9 and all that stuff. What does that mean, those little numbers? Bomb arrows. Oh. <laughs> I, heard, I thought you said you could craft this. Oh. Craft stuff in this game. <laughs> Stop laughing like a weirdo. Oh. Truffles. I love the truffles. So tasty. Mmm, truffles. She's checking out Blue Bunny. She's like, Blue Bunny, wow. Have you ever had truffle us gas? They're really good. That SKS is the one who I told you about. We told you about the one with the homeopathic remedies. She's nice. So what are the boys like over there? Are they jerks there too? like no nose.
Matt, I don't recommend picking a fight with my mod. <laughs> Just saying. She's not as nice as other, like, I, she's not, I mean, she's nice, but she's not as nice about things as I am. Like, she's not gonna be polite with you. She has zero she has zero tolerance for bullshit. You can watch me playing, it's just don't be rude to her because she's she doesn't Like I'm nice, but like, you know I just just don't argue with her, you know what I mean? Like arguing with somebody isn't gonna be helpful to you. She said, who's, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Is it really a truffle that's a mushroom? Is that where the chocolate truffles come from? That's a real shame. Do they like play mind games over there like they do over here? I'm curious if the truffle candy, like the chocolates, ha are like made of mushrooms. I wonder if what they taste like the truffle mushroom. Oh. <laughs> oh. Five dozen eggs. Yeah. <laughs> the candy that I was eating earlier, that's a chocolate truffle. It just got alcohol in it, so it's got Irish Bailey's cream. This case is funny. Truffles? <laughs> but it's like, I want a tasty truffle. Give me the truffle. I want that truffle. <laughs> What do they taste like? Mushroom truffles.
So gee, I was hoping for like a... A thing to jig. A shrine, no shrine anymore. What is it called? Man, this city is huge. Mushroom essence. What's what stuff sell? I've only had like portobello mushrooms and stuff, like regular mushrooms. I remember one time I was hugging this stuffed animal so hard, my mom said, if you hug that stuffed animal any harder, she's like, you're gonna hug the stuffing out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bun Bun, she ended up losing half her stuffing anyway. I, was like, I don't know if I just literally hugged the stuffing out of her or what. Man, 
I wish Michael would do his modding more often. Because that bullshit with Kevin didn't need to occur. I'm sure you'd like a break. I mean, I'm glad that you do do what you do. Um, what you do is very much appreciated. Too bad I get sick when I eat onions. I love garlic, though. I've never had a mushroom paste. Hmm. Yeah, to be- I always worry about mushrooms, though, because, like, they could bend down, like, over the edge. And, like, I worry that, like, a bug could be hiding in them or something. Makes me hungry for like Italian food though when you say that stuff. Why is this tree so significant? Man, there was a loot drop apparently with the meteor, and I missed it, Jeremy. It's only there for a small amount of time and then you lose it. Do you have any forks? Thanks. Okay, obviously there's something here because there's a fucking rock here. Ta-da! I knew it. <laughs>
Thank you. What is my thumbnail of Jeremy? Because people keep saying, OMG, my thumbnail. Um, did you just call me a lazy bitch in my stream? Get the fuck out. I saw what you said. Get out! Think you're funny retracting that statement? I know what you said. Well, that's just your face. What do you mean? So what's wrong with that? Well, you were reported and now you're gone, so don't bother coming back, ass wad. Like, you know, you would think that people would have some like sense of self respect and don't you don't you dare think by retracting that that it's not seen on the screen because I could see it right there on the video. Is that how your mother taught you to talk to people? You go up to random strangers and call their names? Is that how you talk to her? Or is that how your father talks to her? Either way, you should be ashamed. You don't talk to people like that. Why don't you pull off your fucking diapers and grow the fuck up? This is Shroom Central, man. We must like you, SKS. I was pissed because he called me a lazy bitch. Like, the fuck is he calling a lazy bitch? Like, he doesn't even know me. He doesn't even know, like, anything about me. Or what I do. You think this is, like, me being lazy? Like, I'm sitting here for 9 to 12 hours straight streaming upright in a, con in a position that isn't comfortable. But this is the most comfortable it's gonna get because, well, frankly, it's, like, not... It's like a lazy boy, but like after a while your body gets tired and like this is my job and like he's being rude. I don't go up to him at his job and call him a lazy bitch. Yeah, that's true. Still doesn't excuse their behavior.
killed five. That's not bad. I get paid to kill deer? That's awesome. Come back here, deer. are hard to kill. Got that fucking deer. I bet this get him on and get those deers. I bet they're tasty. Just don't eat me, okay, mama? <laughs> Says, Mama, I want a deer. They look really soft. So cute, yeah, baby. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'll do this like a couple more times and we'll move on. It's fun.
sir? And some tasty diggers. This is a tasty. Daddy, are they tasty? Have you ever eaten the dinner, Daddy? Oh. Yeah. Why not? Gamey, what's up, my daddy? Am I gamey? Does he promise she won't eat me? You better not. Cause you don't wanna hurt my pink little fuzzies. <laughs> this isn't a cat. This is a bunny. Don't you see her ears? Those long ears. This is bunny ears. Cats don't have ears like that. Somebody called this a cat. Really? My gosh, these people don't know they're fucking animals. First she's a first she's a bunny, then she turns into a dog, and then she's a bear, and now she's a cat. <laughs> wow.
Mr. Ballsacks. I'm a little kid. I'm a bloody. I'm a bloody rabbit. Don't you see those ears? I'm so bloody. <laughs> Cat. Again, again. End up on his back. Alright, I'll continue on. Otherwise, I'll be in here all day long trying to shoot all these animals. It's like, you better not shoot me, Mommy. Because I'm the best, and you know her. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> 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 
for you. For you. Take that. You get the bird today. <laughs> but you only have one finger. Well, it's the one that counts. <laughs> Cat, now it's a bunny. <laughs> Dogs, cats. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they not learn their animals? What are they doing in kindergarten? Fucking picking their nose? <laughs> Dogs, cats, bunnies, bears. Like, these are like simple animals. Bunny. <laughs> so there. I kind of just landed right on that twig. <laughs> You're a mouse. They enter at your own risk. They make this place sound like it's like a festival occurring or very cheerful music. Jeez, it's one big telescope. Oops, don't fall. throw a ridiculous weapon at someone you get like extra points. It'd be so cool if you could peek through that crazy looking telescope. <laughs> looking house. It's like it's trying to reach for it or something. Not much you could do from here.
Let me find signs there. Hey, he was the director.
a cat, Tanner. You know that. I don't pee in a litter box. You go pee in the litter box. Are you a bird? A bird? Yay! How dare you call me a bird? You're a bird. You got those big wings on your head. These things? Yeah, those big wings. They don't allow me to fly, Daddy, but I think you're flying high as a kite. Maybe you're the bird. <laughs> so cute as a baby and his little fuzzy boobies. Yeah.
What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's see you. Rune has been added. Apparently they have cameras but not guns back then. It's funny. I guess they have bombs. Might as well start using iPhones. Could have fixed the whole map. Or at least in this area.
kitchen because I had a bunch of those. <laughs> ah! Mm-hmm. 
young mini dicks. Fifty thousand rupees. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. What's up, Al? Uh? <gasps> Thirty wood bundles. Bundles of wood, I could do that. I already have twenty five. Wow, that's pretty quick. I'll buy that.
Justin and not your mama.
It's just, it's just so stubborn. <laughs>
Sorry, how's it going? Looks ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> the fuck is that noise? <laughs> this sounds so funny. Some of these things I find are really pretty, but I don't really like to use them. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you missed it. He was going crazy <laughs> earlier with his alt accounts. How's I'm coming for you? Hi. Are we studs of stud work? You're darn tootin' we are. <laughs> oh. Studs of stud work. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> really weird. I like his shoes. Oh, let's see what my bed looks like. Yeah, he has like tons of accounts. Like cream pie filler, we love sex, Foxy's dildo gate, and then there's like a couple other ones. Uh, what was the other one you said? It was something about Jello, and some other ones on the list. Hmm. We are beasts of construction. Curse it and wake your inner animal. We are beasts of destruction. Ah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, jello <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> <laughs> So funny hearing them do that. Nice light on the outside. Is that really it? Ah, let there be light. Good. Oh. 
like sell everything. Pink pants. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Hi. Recall that time you dazzled me? Well, it's dazzling time again, baby. <laughs> so it's oh. okay. Funny. Like a karate class. I wonder if that's the flowers he planted or what. Could have been him too, yeah, he was being argumentative. Can't pull the saw, then don't push it. What the fuck? Oh. Hey. 
thunks whip hammer saw. Yeah, I bought a home in the game, sorry. So what did you do today, Daria? Link's house. Ah. I always like to do this as soon as possible so that way I can't like get it out of the way, you know what I mean? They had like a travel gate. Oh. For your own home. in here. Like he forgot sunscreen on his nose or something. here last night or but I had to fight off this giant cyclops it was a cyclops's bones it's crazy man pink outfit on. I've never could see, seen a construction worker look like that ever. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. at the point where I could buy a house and usually when you're at that point in the game you're quite far
<laughs> Sorry, it's why he's asking if he accepts PayPal transactions. It's funny. No kitchen or anything. Weird expressions. Quite a few, I'll show you them in a bit. It's one with it, like, uh, it mainly goes with what he's wearing as a fit on his head. Like, whether it be a mask, or a helmet, or a hood. So, with this ninja look, he's got it in a bun. With the helmet, it's kind of down. Hi! Dazzling time again. Did you steal my shirt? <laughs> oh, I thought it was mine at first because I all I saw was, was white. I was just giving you a hard time. You can wear my shirt if you want. Good, I hope he threw him free furniture. Ah! <laughs> ball peen? Really? A ball peen hammer? See, that looks about right. It needed some, like, food and other furniture. Although that area back there could be used for stuff. <laughs> be nice if it could be used for more different things. This looks cozy.
It seems like it's steady. Why it's like that? Is it like that for you too, Jaria? Do you celebrate Christmas, SKS, or Daria? Huh? <laughs> 
Cozy bed. Finally got Link a house, Jenny. Hey! 